Okay, people, so keep this short and sweet here. It's uh, December 18, 2017, as you can see that. It's, I don't know, what, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I just want to point out that the numbers are picking up here, right? Because I keep talking about this stuff, people. Right? They don't like it. Because we're getting close. Fraser Health Authority can keep scraping the plate. But it's not gonna, it's not gonna take, remove, remove the facts because they don't, they, they, they're ignoring, they're, they're trying to avoid the facts, people. Right? That's, that's what they're trying to do here. Right? And what they're doing is they're allowing this gang stalking and this retaliation to continue three years later because this is what happened when Uncle John first started going missing. Right? Do you see this? They don't like that brain scan one. Because it was unnecessary. And that flu shot with him having a cold was completely wrong. So it doesn't take... They're, they're, they're obviously subscribed in terms of they get notification when my videos go up. Right, because they're on it. They're on it as soon as the, as soon as the video is up. They're in there with their doing that. But you see, it's not just that though, people. It it spills over into the city of Surrey because you know they phone, they make complaints. You know they phone to MCFD, they make complaints. So it's not just simply thumbs down. And this is what Fraser Health Authority needs to acknowledge and take responsibility for, because at the end of the day. You know, the services that they gave to Uncle John, never mind the services that they gave to him in 2007, but the services that they gave to him in 2015 were very, very negligent. And not only that, but they were abusive to the point where that abuse has spilled over to his immediate family and it's continued on for a period of three years, right? Because, you know, it's, it's not being dealt with and these people don't want to get caught for what they've done on multiple levels whether it's a corporate level or whether it's on a personal level right for their for their various agendas because like I said before there's other agendas so is is that what Fraser Health you know is going to be famous for you know a patient a person goes into the hospital becomes a patient and then from that their immediate family becomes a target to be abused for the rest of their lives to cover up the dirt that manifested under the watchful eye of a health authority that is employed by a government to uh, manage its employees. Right? And then when they're being held to account, all they want to do is carry on with the gaslighting techniques that initially started this whole process to avoid taking responsibility and to avoid reprimanding their corrupt employees. Further putting uh, the immediate family and the patient at risk. Because as we get closer to the truth, people, how do we know that Uncle John isn't just going to suddenly up and die so that there is no living witness to this cause right everything will be well he said right when in fact he didn't say people because if he said you would hear it and you're not hearing anything outside of Jumai Gossipville right and Rumorville to implant lies right into the people that are following this so I just want to point this out like Fraser Health Authority you're putting my life in danger you've been putting my life in danger for almost three years now you have put my family's life in danger for almost three years now not to mention you provided this family as a whole including Uncle John with poor services for a very very long time because my first letter to the Minister of Health was dated back in 2005 which at some point I will find and I will read that as well so 2005, 2007, 2008, and this is what's documented, 2015, as it's clearly shown that there's gang stalking, right, targeting of families, 
you know, people going missing, right? Vulnerable people just up and go missing. Well, a corporation wants to sit up there and say that they had no hand in it when in fact we know that it's directly related to the corporation because if Uncle John would never have ended up in their clutches, none of this would be happening, people. Because it didn't happen until he went missing. Now this here is not going to stop me from doing what I'm doing. And it pisses them off. That's why they're starting to come in more. Right? Because they're trying to derail me. I mean, how do we know it's not the Fraser Health lawyer jumping on board and putting in the thumbs down with his gaslighting method, being that he's gaslighting me in the fucking courthouse with his scraping of the plate? Right? Knowing that I can't get a lawyer because I phoned up that lawyer firm today and they want $5,000 just for the initial consultation, people, to even just get started. That's what I mean. There is no lawyer. Unless you've got... Eighty to a hundred thousand dollars, five thousand dollars right up front. Anything you get after that is piecemeal, fifteen to twenty, thirty minutes of off the top advice that isn't going to solve this problem. Because this problem is much deeper than what thirty minutes can solve, right? <clears throat> and it resulted from the negligence of a corporation managing its employees and then allowing nepotism and union superiority to overrule the rules, acts, and regulations. Right? For greed. And to prop up that uh, pay-as-you-go industry that is exploiting people with money and assets as the ones with no money or assets are being tossed out in the streets regardless of their age or their circumstances in terms of health. Because the, number, the numbers of old people that are on low to minimal income cannot afford housing in the province of British Columbia, Canada, even though they were born in this province, lived their whole lives in this province, paid taxes in this province, and now they're finding themselves out in the streets because they're not like an Uncle John where their assets can be, um, you know, seized, tapped into, redirected into those pay-as-you-go services that is destroying this province, basically, and putting families at risk to being targeted, injured. I cannot go into the healthcare system, people. I can't. My flag, I told you, my file is flagged. Right. Not only did they flag my health care file, but they also tapped into my banking information because when they started robbing John's bank account, they got the information for my banking. And it, it started with Fraser Health Authority people with them stalling for time so that mail fraud could occur so that they could carry on with bank fraud and then retaliate. Accuse me of this, accuse me of that, prosecute me, deem me guilty, right? Punish my children, punish my grandson, right? Punish John, isolated him, made it so that he was an abused man that couldn't speak out, just like they want me to not to speak out. They don't want me speaking out, people, because if I speak out, what happens? This is what happens. You get more, you get more abuse. Right? They want you to suffer in silence. They want you to suffer in silence, people. Right? That's what they did. They transported John illegally to Victoria, stuffed him into a hospital, kept him on drugs so that he would suffer in silence. Made it so he couldn't talk to his loved ones. Made it so he couldn't talk to a lawyer so he could suffer in silence. As they went on the attack, against myself, my persons, my safety, my well-being, right along with the rest of my family, who is Uncle John's immediate family, who he loved and wanted to come home to. And it's clear, clearly stated, time after time, over multiple videos, that he wanted to come home. He even told the social worker, don't leave them out. Don't leave them out. 
I want to go and be with that family. I've been with them for a long, 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 long time. They've been with me forever. This is what he told the social worker. And the social worker didn't give a fucking shit about it. Because her agenda was a different agenda. And Fraser Health Authority wants to protect that. As they continue to abuse my family, my children, my grandchildren, my personal well-being, and Uncle John. Who we are all suffering in silence. And if Uncle John should suddenly, mysteriously die. I'm telling you people, it's only because they don't want the truth to get out.